Harris here. It's 7.27 a.m. on Tuesday morning and headed into my first meeting of the day, first of many. Um, wanted to jump on here and just give you a little bit of encouragement. Tuesday morning, and if you're Monday, just absolutely you just crushed Monday, then Tuesday is that day that you have to keep that momentum going. But if Monday did not go so well, if Monday crushed you, Tuesday is the most critical day that will make the rest of your week because you can choose, you can choose, you can choose to continue that downward momentum of a terrible Monday and it will control the rest of your entire week. Or you can take today, Tuesday, to switch it up and keep that momentum in a positive direction. So Monday went well, great. Crush the rest of your week. Monday crushed you. Today is the day to make sure that the rest of your week is not wasted from a bad beginning. <music> going on but it's all good like it's all incredible stuff and I've got this just momentum building you feel like you got some momentum going that's when you are supposed to really lay the hammer down and continue that momentum right a lot of people will have some success and then they'll ease back and then they'll have a little bit of success and they'll ease back and they'll have a little bit of success and they'll ease back and they never truly um, reach their potential because they're always pulling back right at the exact time where you're supposed to push harder. It's those tiny little moments, uh, we call those defining moments uh, around here, that when you're faced with the opportunity to do something or not do something, to do the right thing or not do the right thing, and by right thing I mean like doing something active for 10 minutes versus laying in bed for an extra 10 minutes. When you choose the right thing, even if it's tiny, even if it's small, that's what creates and maintains that momentum is the constant choice of doing the right thing, even when it's not easy. And when you catch that momentum, it's almost like you feel invincible. You feel like no one would ever say no to you. So you have to take advantage of that momentum and take advantage of that particular mood that you're in in that day that is making it to where other people are saying yes. And you have to take full advantage and go all in on it. And so there would be times where literally I'd be out knocking on doors. And for whatever reason, my personality at that time was just clicking with people. And I would, you know, the sun would go down and I would stay out there knocking on doors um, until I couldn't move. Um, so always use your momentum in your favor um, because it's just like anything with momentum. It takes a while to get it, but once it, once you've got it, do not stop it. It is the most powerful tool you can use in sales.